take on the identity of the place of their birth, embodying their natural environment and spiritual sentiments. Thus, liquors are not merely beverages, but symbols of specific cultures and countries. Scotch whiskey, the pride of Scotland. Beer, the drink of Germany. Wine, God's blessing upon France. Vodka, the life water of Russia. Tequila, the passion of Mexico. What drink does one think of when considering Korea? Wotan Liquor BG has the answer. Throughout its history, going as far back as 1945, Lotte Liquor has produced the Maishuang, Korea's first wine in 1977, Chonga in 1986, Green Soju and top quality rice wine, Solhua in 1994, Soljumbe in 1997, Green Tea infused Han Soju in 2001, and Alkaline reduced Soju Chongcharong in 2006. Lotte Liquor has worked hard achieving consumer satisfaction by producing exceptional products. Lotte Liquor's quality and know-how is recognized internationally since 2005 when it became the world's number one exporter of soju. And its products are exported to over 40 countries. Lotte Liquor continues its challenge to satisfy consumer tastes and desires. A toast for gratitude. A toast for memories. As each glass brings bouts of laughter. The warm smiles of our parents from years past revisit us. We have a tradition of commemorating our ancestors with carefully crafted high quality wines. To continue this beautiful tradition, Lotte Liquor insists on using only premium quality rice because we know that our pride, culture, and tradition is at stake. The Guizan plant is carrying out this important work. Founded in 1945, the Guizan plant is Asia's largest factory of its kind and is the number one producer of Chengju, or rice wine. Lotte liquor uses special yeast, low temperature fermentation, and vacuum sealed maturation in order to maintain the high quality of its Chengju. The production of Chengju demands the world's most complicated and difficult winemaking process. 1,700 hours or 70 days in addition to dozens of processes are required for the transformation of one grain of rice into Chengju. The outer layer of rice is removed before creating a Kudupak batter. Then a precise proportion of koji, steamed rice, yeast, and water is put into a tank to be brewed. After an 18-day fermentation period, it is pressed and made into an alcohol called Shinju. After percolation and sterilization, the liquid is fermented again for two to three months. Finally, after minuscule particles are removed, it becomes a presentable product. Hekwa Subo, Korea's representative ancestor commemoration wine, is created using traditional methods. Handcrafted specialty, dignified solhwa. Sonhua, the official banquet wine of the 2009 Korea ASEAN Special Summit, is the ultimate premium quality rice wine. Produced in limited quantities, it is made by manually polishing rice, whereby 52% of the grain is discarded. The new Chonga with a cleaner taste. Chonga is produced from the innards of rice grains slowly fermented under a low temperature of 12 to 15 degrees for a month. This process eliminates rough tastes and scents and creates a smooth drink 
that is a modern adaptation of the traditional Changchu. The deep and profound smoothness of Kukyang. Produced by fermenting 100% rice at low temperature, Kukyang has a simple aftertaste. The Gunsan plant produces Chujang, the main ingredient of Changcharang. Not only used in other liquors of Lotte liquor, but as the main component of local brews, it is making a great contribution to the development of Korean liquor. Having accompanied Gunsan's economic growth, Lotte Liquor's Gunsan plant makes great effort to give back to society. Since 1999, it has donated a portion of its profits to the city's scholarship foundation and has funded social and cultural festivals in the region. Its active local recruitment also contributes to the vitalization of the local economy. Aside from the varieties of Cheongju, the Gunsan plant produces Cheongcharong, Korea's representative soju. Introduced in February 2006, Cheongcharong has created a whirlwind in the soju market. Created in accordance with customers' desires for a health-conscious soju, Cheongcharong is the world's first alkaline-reduced water-based soju. Cheongcharong's taste is perfected with refreshing xylitol hangover relieving alanine and asparagine and high quality steviocytes. In addition to the rich natural minerals, the small water particles seep through the alcohol to produce a smooth finish. <laughs> In 2009, in order to serve the tastes of young people in their 20s, Lotte Liquor produced Chang Charam Cool. Chang Charam Cool. Korea's representative wine, Majwan, dedicated as wine of Catholic Mass in 1977, praised by the Washington Post as the mystery wine in 1978. Lauded as the Mystery of Asia at the Wine Research Presentation Seminar at Geisenheim University in Germany in 1985. Presenting its special white, special red, and communion wine varieties, Majuang's history is in fact the history of Korean wine. Lotte Liquor's fruit liquors are also widely popular. Sanju Net Plus, which maintains the smooth flavor and rich aroma of pure plum. The refreshing 99 Bokunja and 99 Bodhi. And the natural medicinal herb and mushroom infused Yang Singju. Exemplify the fine wine making techniques of Lotte Liquor. Delivering long forgotten memories. Delivering warm hearts. Allowing the sharing of feelings. Lotte Liquor connects people. <coughs> to enrich the lives of consumers and provide for their happiness. Lotte Liquor will infuse each product with happiness, satisfaction, and care. There will always be top consumer satisfaction in the future with Lotte Liquor.